Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Okay, here we are. In case you can't tell, this is uh, not the uh, old lair, but the new one. And I'm about to embark on feeding a a young green mamba that gets sort of ganged up on uh, by the other greens in the cage. So it's uh, helpful if I I invite it out. Uh, to play. Hey, bud. Yeah, come on. I got something for you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're okay. Come on. You're okay. There you go. Now, the best way to do this to get him all the way out and put him up here on the table. You get back in there, bud. All right, you stay right there and eat. I'm not going to bother you. I'm not going to bother you. There you go. Just kindly stay in frame. And you can sit there and eat your chicken piece without the other greens bothering you. Kermit is in shed. And uh, the other one only eats, uh, this one only eats chicks for me. Uh, subsequently, uh, it doesn't eat when I feed Kermit or the other green. Uh, mice, which they take uh, quite readily, but this guy uh, only likes uh, these bell chicks right now, and the other two hound the crap out of them, or her, uh, so I find it's much easier To just uh, let it hang out here on the table like Kermit used to do and and just chow the chicks and uh, really not bother him until he's done and then put him back in. Doesn't get much simpler than that. Except you have to have some level of trust with the animal. Uh, realize that you're not going to hurt it and you know it could get startled and go zooming off into the sunset but you know it's pretty hungry uh, chicks chicks are uh, don't come out uh, every day although this is a very uh, fast metabolism snake uh, I haven't put in a order with uh, my supplier so I've been rationing chicks only to the snakes that, uh, that really, uh, really will only eat them. Uh, this way, uh, there's no, uh, uh, you know, somebody doesn't get fed, basically. Hey, bud, you want this? Come on, come on, here you go, here you go, here you go. You know, you're, you're trying to swallow that one, huh? You're trying to swallow that one. Hey, 
mud. I know this is uh, this is a bit strange for you, huh? Yeah, I know you didn't eat that uh, in the, at the best uh, best way possible. Yeah, yeah, I know that's a camera. It's not going to bother you. It's just watching. It's just watching, bud. Come on. There you go. That's right. There you go. Come on. That's right. Best way to eat a chick is by the pecker, right? I know that uh, that sounds very strange, uh, but uh, in this case, it's factual. Now, where else other than Viper Keeper do you get uh, Mamba footage like this, huh? Oh, was that much easier to eat, huh? Yeah, you bet. See? Eating chicks by the pecker works best, huh? You bet. No reason to get weirded out by the camera. The camera's just, uh, and just watching you eat. Although you do look pretty comical with those feet hanging out uh, your mouth, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm standing up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I gotta get more chicks, huh? I gotta get another chick. Go ahead, you eat. You. Oh. Come here. Come here, bud. Come on. Here. Here's the chicky. Get the chicky. Come on. Mm. What do I do? What do I do? Come here. Come here. Here. Here's another chicky. He'll get used to this. This is the only second time that we've done this. We couldn't really do it at the other place. Right? Now if I go uh, zooming off around the table to try to corner him, that will just spook him further. So I'm going to hold my ground until it makes a, a definitive uh, a decision on what to do. Here, come on. Here. Come on. Nobody's going to hurt you. Yes, that's my hand. That's very close. There you go. See? I know, I know. It's just the towel moving. Relax. Relax. There you go. Eat your chicky. There you go, bud. Oh, you look pretty funny, huh? I think you're partially upset and weirded out. And uh, partially trying to finish swallowing uh, that chicky, huh? Yeah, this is going to be your last one, because this is four. I think that's a good meal for the week. I think that's a good meal. I'm using a bit of zoom rather than just going close with the camera, because you don't want the little character to get uh, too weirded out, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good meal. I know you're giving me that strange look. You're giving me a strange look. I know I can see it. Your eyes are focused on my hand, which is not the, the most comforting thing in, in the world. Huh? You want another chicky? Here's another chicky. 
Well, you have a, a full tummy now, so you're gonna you're thinking about taking a cruise, huh? I know. I hear you hissing. I know you're stressed. You're a little upset. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat number four. There you go. There you go. That's a good mamba. There you go. There you go. You're such a good guy. You're such a good guy. Hey, you want me to help you straighten that out? Huh? There you go. There you go. Oh, that's that's excellent. There you go. Now you know you're going to go home with chick on your breath, and uh, uh, your roommates are not going to like that. They're going to be very jealous. See, I always keep an extra thought, uh, two thought out, so at least the other guys can have one each. Kermit didn't was sort of interested in a mouse yesterday, but not really because he's pretty opaque. Uh, the other one, uh, yeah, just slammed the mouse. Uh, pretty good sized one too, uh, but he'll uh, he'll not refuse a, a chick. You know, guy, you, you have to learn to sort of uh, face the camera a little bit. Hmm? I see the other green down in the cage looking up here like, what the hell is he doing up there? That's not right. Huh? That's not right. Here, I'll show you. Hello. Look at him. Look at the look on his face. What the hell's going on here? I've been rooked. Okay, bud. What are you doing? No, oh, we're looking a little blue, huh? Hi. I know. I think four is a good number for you. We don't want to overfeed you. Huh? Yeah. Was that tasty, huh? Yeah, that's my hand. That's my hand. Huh? You want to check out my hand? I don't know if I want you to check out my hand. Huh? Okay, you ready to go back? Come on. Come on. Relax. Relax. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Not up the hook, please. You disturbed the, the operator that way. Come here. Okay, you're, you're fine. No, you're not going to climb me either. You're not going to climb me either. Come on. See, the best way to get him back in there is to tail him and point the nose in the right direction, just like I did now. And he's in there, and I see his uh, cage mates are, are interested in, in what was going on here. Here, bud. You want one? Oh yeah, you want one. Kermy. Kermy, you want one of these, huh? Hey, that's my hand, you little bonehead. You already ate. You already ate. 
give Kermie a chance. You know, look, guy, you just went out to a restaurant, had a nice uh, chicken dinner. You're coming home. Let your uh, roommates have something. Okay, that's all with the greens today. Do you want another, huh? Do you want another? Okay, there you go. All right. Five for you. Whoa. You're a hungry little guy.